Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to migrate your Drupal 7 instance to Drupal 10. I already posted a video about how to plan your Drupal 7 instance before migration. So uh, I will add that link in the description. If you don't know, please go and check it. After that, you can see this video. And here, uh, so this is my Drupal 10 instance and this is my Drupal 7 instance. And in Drupal 10, uh, these are the modules I'm having in Drupal 7 instance. So I have taken all. So I enabled all those modules in Drupal 10 already. So let me show you. So admin menu, I enabled admin toolbar. You can see it here. And next one is C tools. So C tools enabled. And then date, edit. Now it is in code. And then devil, devil I don't want. So I didn't enable. Entity API, so this is also in code. And next one is field connection, paragraph, the replacement module. So paragraphs, the module is enabled. And link, link is in core now. And path auto, path auto is enabled. And then redirect module. So a redirect module is also enabled. And then token. So path auto will have dependency of token. So that is also installed. And last one is view. View will come in code. So I didn't enable this module. That will be enabled by default. After that, I just enabled one module, Drupal migration. Migrate Drupal UI, I think. Yeah. So migrate Drupal UI. This module you have to enable. This module will have a dependency of uh, migrate Drupal and migrate. Those will be enabled if you enable this. And then click on configure. And here you have to uh, make sure you are taking the backup and all the thing before you are upgrading the more uh, Drupal instance. So continue. And here, so I'm going to migrate from Drupal 7 and source that is MySQL and host and the db name so db name is instance name so same db name i gave in php my admin so username root password not required and here you have to give the uh uh doc root folder of your drupal 10 instance so that your files will be moved from uh drupal 7 to drupal 10 okay so the files should be linked do not moved. you have to manually move your files so, which means uh, if this is my Drupal 7 instance, default files. So, I copied all the files and, and I already pasted it here. Drupal 10 migration, yeah. modules, not modules, sites, default files. So, here I already pasted those three folders. Okay. So, before any migration, you have to make sure you are copying all the files from Drupal 7 to Drupal 10. Once that is done, give the docker folder of your Drupal 10 instance and give you the upgrade. So I know I may lost data, so continue. And before that, uh, when you are migrating to Drupal 10, make sure you are not doing any configuration, any content revision. This should be vanilla instance, okay? So here it will list, uh, do we have replacement coders or do we have replacement module or it's there or not, all will be listed. So perform upgrade. Here you can see what are the items getting process. Performance configuration system, all the configurations are getting on. Even the theme settings, all.
So now you can see our upgrade process is completed. So let me open this in separate tab. And here we have Drupal uh, 7 and here we have Drupal 10. So let me show you the peoples and people all will be migrated, all content. So you can see all the users are migrated from here, the same users, whatever we have, all those are migrated. So when you do edit, you can see if there is a file reference field, all those will be migrated. So you can see here, file field, all will be migrated. And even in menus, uh, so let me go from first, content. So this is the content. So all contents are migrated, you can see, and if the content has any file, that will be that will be migrated. So let me open any one and, and I will show you. So here you can see the image is also migrated. So when you when you are doing upgraded, you have to make sure you are giving the doc root to your doc root of your Drupal instance. Okay, and then uh, uh, here I think in this only I added the field collection field. Let me check it. Wait a minute. Not sure on which content type. So testing, I think. Yeah, so here you can see I have a uh, I have created a field collection field on content type testing. So in manage fields, I have created a field collection field. So you can see that is created by paragraph module in Drupal 10. And also in paragraph, you will have field collection with the same thing, whatever we have in the Drupal 7 instance. So in testing content also will have the value. So testing, filter. I edit one content. So even content inside the paragraph also getting migrated. Okay. <clears throat> so normally, uh, the only problem you will have is that if you are planning to use media module in Drupal 10, so the file will be migrated from Drupal 7 to Drupal 10. It will be migrated as a file field, not a media file. So to migrate your uh, file field, migrate. Migrate your files to media. So we have a module in Drupal 10. So this is the module. What it will do, it will help you to uh, migrate your files to the media entities. So you go and check this module. I will add this module link in the description. Okay, you have to write a custom uh, migration. So you can check that example in the source code. Here you can check the example. Okay, so by enabling this module, you can understand how this is working. Okay, after that, you can use it in your Drupal uh, 9 instance. Okay, so that's it about contents. And then, uh, so content type, yeah, comment type also, I added testing comment that is also migrated. So, block type, I'm not sure, let me check. I think I didn't add any block type. If I added, that will also be migrated. So menus, you can see a cities, something uh, random text, all those menus are created. Even links will be there. Okay. And then paragraph taxonomy, you can see lots of vocabularies are created with the terms. Okay. Even views also will be uh, migrated. So whatever view we are having there, all those will be migrated here. And then this is done, structure, appearance, extents, even the site name also will be migrated. So system basic site settings. So whatever name you have given in that, the same name will be migrated. In this configurations, people also done. So next, I have to go to path or two. URL device. And then redirects, URL redirects. Yeah. So all the redirects, whatever I have there, all those are migrated. And also URL alias. So you can see all those are migrated. 
I think, yeah, that's it. So we successfully migrated our Drupal 7 instance to Drupal 10 instance. So if you have any contrib module that is not migrated, write your own code uh, for porting it or write a solution which you need from that module and you can use it. Custom module will have to manually migrate. If you are creating any custom theme or customized theme porting, all those you have to take care of it. Okay. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.